with a successful program from Porter Mosier, who left to go to Oklahoma. WGN's Eric Rung live on the far north side, Loyola campus, with more on that for us. Hi, Eric. Hey there, Sean. At just 29 years old, it is believed that Drew Valentine will be the youngest head coach at the Division I level, but he says he's ready for it. I mean, this place is so, so special to me, um, and it's just one of the best places um, I can imagine, the best place I can imagine to begin my head coaching career. Valentine spent the last four seasons as an assistant coach with the Ramblers, so he was there to help coach the team to the Final Four in 2018, and of course this year to the Sweet 16 with a big win over top-seeded Illinois. He says he doesn't plan on changing too much on the court that helped Loyola achieve all the success it has, but he does want to continue to push his players. Valentine got a little emotional when talking about his family, his father, who was a standout player, and his brother Danzel, who plays for the Bulls. He himself Self played college basketball at Oakland University, where he also coached just out of school. He was a grad assistant to Michigan State head coach Tom Izzo, who he is still in communication with. He is married with a baby girl due in July and just can't wait to get started. I'm going to remain committed to the culture here. You know, that's that's what that's what the, the scoreboards say um, right now is, is committed to the culture. You know, we've established Loyola Chicago as one of the best and, and, and most premier, you know, both academic and athletic institutions in the country. And we're gonna stay committed to the things that, that brought us here. Now the school's athletic director says that he got the blessing on Saturday for Valentine's hire from Sister Jean. She of course is the 101 year old team chaplain for the Ramblers who has been a huge star for the team herself. Drew will be the team's 17th head coach. We are live on Loyola's campus. I'm Eric Rung, WGN.